What's the point of being a crafter if you can't even make your own phone case covers? I cannot get it. I can't. Of course I'm keeping it because it's beautiful. I want it. But the good news is I'm going to teach you how to make it so we can have matching ones. I'm having too much fun rhinestoning and I'm going to find a million other things that we can rhinestone together. I hope you enjoy this video. Besitos. Rhinestoning becomes so addicting because it's so much fun. Honestly, I feel like it's relaxing. I get like neck cramps and stuff because I push myself and I try to finish things fast because I obsess and I'm impatient. But really, rhinestoning is something that you can do whenever you have free time here and there. And I don't know. It's just I really enjoy it. I got this phone case at TJ Maxx. It was like $12.99. I do not recommend this one for your customers. I'm impatient and I didn't want to wait for my Amazon one. So I just got this one, but I'm keeping this phone case. But if you, if your phone cases are $12.99, that is less money that you are going to make off of your product. So I recommend the $3.99, $4.99 ones from Amazon. What I did was I sanded my surface and scuffed it up, beat it up a little bit so that my glue and my stones would really adhere. Then I wiped it with alcohol and um, I went ahead and dried it with a paper towel. Guys, rhinestoning things, it's addicting like tacos. You can't just do one. You can't just have one. You have to have more and more and more and then you crave it all the time. So these rhinestones that I'm showing you here, um, the pink ones I got from Amazon, this wax pen I got from Amazon. I'm going to also link the other really beautiful opal, like bubble, bubble E looking rhinestones for you. And here's the best part. If you watched my YouTube video last week where we rhinestoned a tumbler, I am using the same exact set of flat back charms, which is incredible because it saves you money. Like you get to reuse the same little bags that you bought over and over for multiple products and get your money back on your investment so amazing I'm briefly gonna show you guys how I'm mixing the glue just because I went into it in detail in last week's video but basically it's a part a and b like epoxy adhesive so you just put a little dot of a and b um, you know just kind of eyeball it so that they're equal sizes and just mix them until it's transparent and then you're good to go guys you do need some sort of respirator for this definitely protect your definitely protect your lungs cuz it is a stronger epoxy adhesive than a regular glue so you definitely don't just want to breathe in those fumes or do it like inside of your house where your babies can smell it and if you do please be next to an open window so i went ahead and you know started at the top right corner i put my glue um, in that little section and then I started picking charms and placing the charms first it's it was easier to do it that way and then I went in and I started doing my edges the edges are super important because that's what's going to keep the structure of whatever you're rhinestoning and make it look straight and nice and beautiful so I am doing the scatter method, which I talked about that in last week's video. The scatter method is kind of like Tetris. It just means you're putting rhinestones in whatever little spots they fit in whatever size fits. So you're just kind of filling in the gaps and making everything fit like a perfect puzzle. I am using three different sets of stones. I'm using clear um, like AB opal i'm using crystal ab and i'm using those really beautiful um, half pearl pink ones and i feel like mixing up these three stones and just using different sizes made made this so beautiful and so sparkly and it made it so that you have so much to look at this was amazing honestly guys can i tell you how long it took me to finish this um phone case it took me three hours it took me three hours to get it done and I probably could have gotten it done sooner, but I was distracted. <laughs> I kept getting up to go inside for snacks. I was also watching Vampire Diaries on my iPad. Guys, I love Vampire Di Diaries so much. And before you ask me, I am Team Stefan. I just think he's so genuinely pure, you know? And yes, I know Damon becomes lovable later on. I do love Damon very much, but 
I just love Stefan. I think he has a beautiful heart and he stays true to himself the whole time. Other than when, when he's a ripper. Ripper. Reaper? Ripper. Anyway, okay, so I continue to go down the phone case and apply glue in little sections. The glue has about a 30-minute working time, so you don't want to do a huge sections at a time uh, because, you know, rhinestoning does take its time. As you can see, I'm doing a few clips in real time and a few time lapses. Otherwise, this video would be like, you know, longer than <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm continuing to do my edges first, okay? I do my edges first because it starts getting tacky as I'm placing my other stones in every other area. And so it'll make it so that that first line that I place, you know, doesn't move. I also took, you know, kind of just readjusted them as I needed to as I was working, but I was able to keep my edges very straight. You could do the entire edge of the entire phone case and then just wait for it to dry and then fill in the center. But I, I thought that doing it this way worked too. Now, I wanted to add a special little unique element. Of course, I had to put the word baddie because hello, I'm a baddie, you're a baddie, we're all baddies. I'm like Oprah, you're a baddie, you're a baddie, you're a baddie, everyone's a baddie. Here a baddie, there a baddie, everywhere a baddie, baddie. Okay, I'm done, sorry, I blacked out. <laughs> I used a popsicle stick to make sure that my word was straight. And don't even tell me you don't have popsicle sticks because if you don't have popsicles at your house, why are we even here? Why are we friends? You can't sit with me if you don't if you don't have popsicles at your house, okay? Don't even invite me over for dinner. I won't come. I'm, I'm gonna need a popsicle after dinner, okay? Preferably a creamsicle. So once I placed my name and I ensured that it was straight with my popsicle stick, I then went in to place my big charms around and then my little tiny ones, because the longer the glue sits, the tackier it gets, which means that my letters won't move. And then I kind of just filled in the gaps, you guys. I took tiny itty bitty little rhinestones and I put them in between each word. Oh, they're so cute and little. And then once I had that secure, I started filling in the spaces around. And guys, look how pretty it is. It was very important to me to move over and do the name before I continue to do the rest of the cup. I mean, the cup. <laughs> I'm on autopilot. The rest of the phone case, just because I wanted to see what it was all going to end up looking like and where the word was going to be placed. And I was like, if you get distracted and start placing rhinestones and then later you try to go back and place the name and you realize you don't have enough room to put it, that's really going to suck. So um, go ahead and find where you want to place your name and probably just start there. Guys, this was seriously so much fun. I I'm absolutely addicted to rhinestoning stuff and I'm going to find the funnest, cutest things for us to rhinestone and give you guys such cute ideas. Let me also tell you, these are really cute for you to make and put on your website for Christmas orders. A lot of people like to do personal, customized Christmas gifts. I know I love sentimental things that someone took the time to think about for me. So if someone takes the time to order me a phone case that has all of the elements of the things that I love, that makes me feel more, more special than if you gave me like, I don't know, a Gucci bag, which obviously like I can't afford a Gucci bag and neither can my friends because we're all, you know, poor Mexicans. But if you could, you know, go to the Callejones in LA and get me a Fuji bag, I'll buy, I'll take a knockoff. I don't, I, listen, I don't think I would even want a real Gucci bag, okay? Where am I going to wear it to? Dollar Tree? The Dollar Truck? Girl, bye. Okay, so... I love this little silicone pointy pen thingy majiggy because it allows me to get into those little areas, right? So as I continue to finish my, my phone case, there's just little sections that I need to do. And it's hard to get the popsicle stick in those little nooks to get the glue in there. But this little pointy silicone brush from Amazon, it gets in there and it lets you get the glue in between the little spaces. So I love it, you guys. And the best part is... Once your glue is completely dry, you can peel it right off of the silicone brush. I know um, a lot of people use like Q-tips and stuff like that, but I feel like you have to keep throwing them away and buying them. I have an entire box of popsicle sticks, which is why I use those, but 
in the future, once those run out, I will only use silicone brushes to apply my glue because that's an expense that you don't have to continue to do. You don't have to keep buying, you know, silicone brushes. You take care of them. They're going to last you for a really long time. So that's a little money saving tip. <laughs> like and subscribe for more. <laughs> Guys, I'm super excited. This is beautiful. I hope I did a really good job of explaining it to you. The reason I didn't go in more detail, number one, is because I want to talk to you and tell you so much stuff. But also, I know that if you watched my YouTube video last uh, Saturday, then you kind of already have a really good idea of how to do this. Here's the final product. I'm absolutely in love. Please leave me a comment and tell me what you want to see next. My content is 100% for you. So let me know what you want to see. A lot of people suggested a day in the life of Myra. Let me know if you even want to see that because I will film a vlog. Anyway, besitos. Besitos.